Hello there, my friends. It's another beautiful fall day. We've had some lovely weather lately. And I'm just taking a few moments to connect with you as we um, move into the day a little bit further. I'm sitting beside my door. And my question to myself is, who is welcome? Who is welcome in my home? My question is, who is welcome in my heart? And then I want to go to who's welcome in our church. Galatians 3.28 says, Welcome others as Christ has welcomed you. We are invited to be welcoming people. To be welcoming people in many ways. But what we tend to do is we tend to put people in categories. We put people in places where, where those people are not as welcome as those people. Or those people are not as welcome as those. I really enjoy sitting here on my step because people just kind of walk by and we get to have visits together. And, um, and you know, it, it's interesting because it, it could be quite, quite easy to just um, not bother to say anything to someone who walks by. But there's something really kind of neat about the conversations that take place when we say hello. And, um, and even though they may not come into my house, we sit um, outside and quite often people will tell me a little bit about their lives and um, and I share a little bit about mine. Welcome means to share part of yourself with another person and um, as I look at how Jesus lived in this earth um, everyone was welcome. Everyone was welcome into his heart and um, he spent time with so many people who the church people wouldn't welcome at all. He um, he reached out to people that weren't welcome. And, um, and I think he made a point to reach out to the people who weren't welcome. And I hope that we, as people of God, will also do that. We need to have welcoming hearts. We need to have, we need to have welcome um, so that people know that God welcomes them and that God welcomes us. And God welcomes us all equally. And we are all the same. To God. There's nothing different about how God loves you or me or anyone in this world, no matter who they are or what they are. And that is actually really, really, um, that, that, is, that is actually really powerful. All are welcome in God's heart. And so as people of God, all need to be welcome in our heart. And um, one of the things I think that's the hardest for us to do is welcome ourselves. You know, sometimes we can be really hard on ourselves. We can doubt ourselves and we don't even welcome our own selves into our own hearts sometimes. And so we're even encouraged by God to, to love ourselves. So today I just wanted to remind you of this. And so as you're, you know, moving through your day, think about how you could be a welcoming heart to someone. And you know what, it can make the difference in someone's life. Um, it can change their whole outlook just by making yourself available and, and welcoming. Let's pray together. Lord, we want to be a welcoming people. You welcome all. And so I pray that you will help us, help me, to have a welcoming heart. And help us to welcome ourselves into our own heart too. To love ourselves the way you love us. Thank you, Lord, for this day, and thank you for welcoming us as your people. We pray this in your name. Amen. So thanks for joining me today, and um, maybe as you move through your day, you can look for someone to welcome, and don't forget to welcome you. God bless you. Bye now.